Welcome back to ATMTrader.com. This is Carlos, and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to list a used part that perhaps you're trying to sell, as well as list a portfolio, search for a technician, and if you are a technician, list your services online. I'll also briefly go over how to utilize the error code feature in case you have any error codes that you are curious about. Um, so to get started really quick, before I list my equipment, I'm going to show you what um, buyers are going to be looking at. Um, you can go about it two ways, under the buy sell used option here, or down here where you see these green buttons. You can select either one of those. Um, really quick, I'm going to show you what buyers are going to be looking at. These are already listed on our website. Uh, it's what individuals have posted already. Um, just to give you an idea, this Tidal 3100 is on sale right now by an individual. Uh, here you'll see their contact information. You can email them uh, if you are interested in purchasing this machine. It'll also give you some details here. They offer a 30-day warranty, the price, how many they have, and where they're located. Um, so it's all useful information for anybody that's looking to purchase an ATM. So we're going to list our own for the time being. So let's go back to the main page by clicking on the ATM Trader logo. And now we're going to, once again, either go to this Buy Sell option here or down below on the green buttons here. So we're going to go to Sell Used. And it's going to give me some fields to fill out here. So my category is an ATM since I'm going to be selling a Minibank 1500. Now if it's a part like a printer, dispenser, or a lock, anything like that, I can select ATM parts. But for now, since I'm selling an ATM, I'm going to select ATM machine. And the vendor is the same thing as a manufacturer. Uh, it's a Tranex. Um, but note, if your manufacturer name is not on this list, you can go down to the other option and select other. And you can type in your model. For example, a WRG Genesis, or maybe you have a WRG Phoenix or a Nextran machine. You can type it in here manually, as long as you have other selected. But for the time being, since we are selling a Tranex, you can select Tranex. I can make my selection here, Minibank 1500. Now your title is going to be what's going to be in big, bold letters. Um, so I can type in Minibank 1500. For sale. Okay, and then your summary is just a brief description of what you what it is you're selling. Um, so I can type in good condition or rarely used, Oops. and then something like um, latest software. Now, if you do put something like latest software, please be aware that those individuals that are looking to purchase your machine may want proof of that and you can print out your print all setup from the machine and it'll have the software version that is loaded onto that main board uh, of the machine you're trying to sell so that's just something to be cautious about uh, you will know the year that you purchased your machine obviously and if you decide to offer a warranty um, you can do so uh, a lot of people like to do like a 30-day warranty. Um, if you purchased this machine that you're trying to sell within a year ago, uh, chances are your machine is still under a manufacturer's warranty. And you can list that on here as well. So if I bought this machine six months ago, I can state that there is a, that there is a manufacturer warranty still valid. So manufacturer warranty valid. And then I can put something like six months out of the one year manufacturer's warranty. But because I'm not under a manufacturer's warranty and I want to offer my own, I can just type in 30 day warranty service. This means that if something goes wrong with the machine that I just sold, within 30 days I will go out to the location and see if I can fix the problem myself and take care of any costs that may come with that. Now I have an option to upload an image. Now it's really, really beneficial for you to add an image onto your listing because people want to see what they're buying. So under, I already have one saved here for a Minibank 1500. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. 
I now have my image uploaded. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to continue now that I'm done here. I'm going to select a price. Now you can look online to see what your machine or part that you're trying to sell is going for. I'm just going to, for training purposes, I'm just going to put $500. And I have one machine. I'm going to have this listing on here for 90 days. And if I have the capability of accepting any of these uh, networks here, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, I can fill in these bubbles. I'm going to accept check. And then if you have a PayPal account and your buyer has a PayPal account as well, you can select this option here. Now I'll just fill out this location information here. And then the tax will be relevant if you're selling uh, from a corporation, for example. Um, not so important when you're selling privately. Um, and then down here, the return policy, you can add in a return policy. It's a good selling point. It's what people really look for when they purchase something used. They want to make sure that you know they get a guarantee that the machine will work. And so we can put in a 30-day return policy. And much like the manufacturer warranty that we pad in, or just the warranty in general, along with the return policy, you don't have to fill anything. Like I said, it's just a really good selling point and uh, just a good service to provide to your customers. So now that we've filled all this out, you can click on Continue. And you're just going to verify your information that you entered. All this looks good. Click on Submit. Now at this point, all that's going to happen is the ATM Trader team is going to look over your listing and then they're just going to approve it. Once it's approved, you'll be notified and then at that point your ATM or ATM part will be listed under the Buy Use section. So it'll pop up here once it's approved and you're notified of it. So let's go back to the main page and really quickly I want to show you how to list a portfolio say it's time to retire you've been in the business a while and you know you're ready to to move on uh, you want to check out what's available in the portfolios now we don't have any listings available just yet so I'm just gonna go directly into sell portfolio and it's gonna ask me for general information right off the bat so I wanna say I have a listing in LA um, so portfolio in LA area and then you can type in your asking price again the, for training purposes I'm just gonna type in um, some random prices here and then how many machines I have say I have 10 machines that I'm looking to sell and these are all machines that are currently still in operation um, now it's gonna ask me here number of merchant owned. Now this means that out of the 10 machines I have, how many of them are actually owned by the merchant but I'm still getting a cut of the surcharge for. So let's just say one of the merchants actually owns the machine, I just get a part of that surcharge on each transaction. Number of ATMs owned are how many machines, or how many of those 10 machines I actually own. So that will be 9 because one of them is owned by a location. Now whenever you started your business just put 2010. Uh, average months remaining on service contracts. Now this is all of your contracts combined, uh, the average of the remaining contract time. So let's just say I have three years left on each contract. So in three years, you're going to be looking to renew most of those contracts of those of, from those 10 locations. And then you can select if, if there are uh, auto renew. Uh, that'll let you know whether or not you need to negotiate the new contract. Um, of course, these machines should be triple DES and ADA compliant. That's a big one. You can select which processors you're processing your transactions through on all 10 machines uh, that apply, of course. And as you scroll down, you can select which type of machines you actually have at each of those 10 locations. So I have a couple of Tritons, maybe some Tranaxes, some Hyosungs, a Gen Mega. Just a check all that apply, really. And then the same goes for the location types. I might have some machines at a, a few gas stations, supermarket, um, let's see, a restaurant, amusement park. Okay. And then just the general area in which your ATMs are located. So Los Angeles. 
and then of course the state goes along with that. Let's go to continue. Now it's going to ask for some a little bit more detailed information. This is about how how much the portfolio will make you. Um, when you look to sell a portfolio, people are going to want to know how much they're going to be making. It's like selling a business, really. So you want to be able to provide this type of information. Again, for training purposes, I'm just going to be filling in some some numbers here. So uh, average. Uh, so my monthly transaction volume. Maybe I make you know, a thousand transactions a month with those ten machines combined. And how much of those are actually surcharged transactions, meaning how much, how many of these one thousand transactions are actually withdrawals transactions that I can actually charge for. Um, so let's say about seven hundred of those transactions are actually surchargeable. How much revenue you make off of that, you can say you know, one thousand five hundred. Uh, again, these numbers are arbitrary. Um, your monthly interchange revenue. Um, this is something that you'll have to get from your um, your distributor. Uh, they can provide you with this information, how much you get on the back end. Um, so we can just go ahead and put again an arbitrary number. Uh, how much net? You, how much you make net uh, each month? Um, monthly communication expenses. This is the dollar amount that you pay out for say a phone line or an internet line how much that averages out to we're just gonna say hundred dollars for now um, how much rent you pay if any of your locations charge you rent you would include that on here um, monthly vault and expenses that's basically if you've hired somebody to load your machines for you how much you pay out to them um, if you are looking to purchase a, a portfolio you may want to look for someone else to buy your machine uh, depending on if it's a specific company or an armored company um, so you would enter in that amount um, monthly service expense if you need a technician on a regular basis uh, how much that costs you we're just going to put our arbitrary numbers again uh, monthly processing expenses if you have any total monthly expenses that's everything all put together again I'm just going to put in some arbitrary numbers and how much you make gross each month um, let's just fill in these and then a description. If you have any other uh, fields you want to add yourself, um, any expenses or any money that extra money you make, or the benefits of having this portfolio in general, you can add that in this description box. And click on continue once you're done there. And you can just review all the information that you just put in. Okay. Now, once we're done, we can all we need to do is click on submit. And now we've added our portfolio. It's just pending an approval from the ATM Trader team. Once it's approved, you'll receive an email stating that your portfolio has been approved, and you will actually see it if we go back to the home page here. There's nothing in this portfolio section, but once it's approved, you'll see the listing here. So if anybody in the industry is looking to purchase a portfolio, they can go to this section here right away and see your portfolio right off the bat. And it's just more convenient for them, and it's easier for you to list it here, um, and just more secure also. Another thing I want to show you is how to find a technician in your area. We have this little section here, the technician locator. If you're looking for a technician in your area that you are looking to hire, you can click here. Now, these are all listings that have been placed on our website by um, individuals that are already established in their areas. Um, the reason why there's only these states on here is because that's what we've had listed so far. So if you're in California, these are all the listings that we have in the state of California. And then you can click on each one of these. So say I want to click on this company here. Take a look at what their coverage is, how much they cost, uh, what their rates are, and that type of thing. It's just a really unique tool. It's very cool to have. Um, if you're in the area and you need an ATM up and running right away, uh, you can contact these companies th through their email addresses or through a phone number if they have that listed. Something I recommend. Also, Montana, New York, Nevada, and so on. Now I'm going to show you how to list your service. If you are a technician and you would like to offer your service, you can go to the same little technician locator area 
and click on this start button here. Now the start button will take you to a screen for you to fill out some fields and just information about your company. So say I have a company in Los Angeles that's called ATM Trader. And my website, if I have one, is going to be atmtrader.com. And then my email address that I want people to contact me with if they have any inquiries. So I'm going to go and fill that in. And then, of course, my phone number. Um, if you have a cell phone that it's easier for you to get a hold, for people to get a hold of you at, you would list it here. And then a fax number. Your address is pretty important when it comes to searching. Um, a little bit more detailed. Uh, I want to see how far away you are so that way I can calculate your um, mileage expense. So you may, again, you want to make sure all these fields with the red asterisks are filled in. Let me just fill this phone number in. Okay. Um, and then, of course, your address. And of course, your zip code. Now, the reason that these all these states are listed here, even though we selected California as our main coverage area, maybe I know somebody that's in Hawaii. Uh, you know, this this industry, everybody knows everybody. Um, I might know somebody in Florida that can fix machines in Hawaii, and I can put you in contact with those people um, if you have. An ATM, an ATM down in that location. I can also check off any of the services that I provide. I offer ATM repair. I can install your machine. Uh, I can do a site survey if you're interested in looking to place a machine in a mall, say for instance. And of course, technical support um, if you offer that. And then anything special you can add in this little description box. And just like the ATM image we did earlier, you can upload your your uh, business logo. Here as well. So for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Now, this is where you're going to add your rates in there. Now, you have two options here. Um, standard rates, you want to make sure you have listed, and if you have any off hours uh, rates as well, you can change that here. So right now, we're just going to do standard hours, how much you charge an hour, how much you charge to visit a location, just to take a look at a machine, maybe how much you charge to install. Um, off hour rates, that's up to you if you'd like to enter these in. How much you charge per mile, you know, uh, maybe 50 cents out of different companies. Where these are just arbitrary numbers again. And then any other fees. And then how you accept payment. Uh, a lot of people do invoices or ask to be paid on site. And then if you accept any of these major carriers, you can check these boxes. Check is always one to have selected and then of course if you have a PayPal account. Once you're done here, go ahead and click on continue. And then you're just going to verify all the information that you've inputted. Once we're done, go ahead and click on submit. And that's it. You have just listed yourself as a technician in the Los Angeles area that has some contacts in a few other states. So if anybody is looking to get a technician in their area and you just happen to be around they can contact you and just much like the uh, portfolio listing this is just pending approval from the ATM trader team once they approve it you'll receive an email saying that your listing is now up and running and you'll be able to see it here it'll pop up and if you decide to have a logo this is where your logo will be as well so let's go back to the main page and there's just one more thing I want to show you this error codes option our feature here, let me zoom in here, is pretty nifty. Go ahead and click on it. And you can look for error codes based on the manufacturer. So if I have my Tranex 1500, I can look at error codes associated with that machine. If, say, something's confusing me, I can look it up here and I can remedy it. Um, and it's just a useful tool to have, especially if you're a technician. Um, just you want to be able to fix any type of problem you can always reference this page as well 
That's it for this training guide. Thanks for visiting atmtrader.com. Please make sure to check in occasionally and frequently actually. And we will, be, since we will be actually posting more and more videos, training, and otherwise, um, enjoy your ATM Trader account. Happy selling, happy hunting, and we'll see you soon.